Kip, let's talk about that middle class famous tour, baby. Those sweet, sweet live shows. Woo! About to be kicking in a high gear. It's a stand up comedy show with a little AYG that we play with the crowd. Great way to introduce new people to the show. Mm -hmm. So grab the squad, grab the homies, grab the bozos, grab your best girl, grab your best guy, and come out and see us. Yeah, guys. Uh, first date is going to be Red Bank, New Jersey. That it will sell out. Let's Get go. those tickets. And we're in Seattle, Portland, Kansas City, Springfield, St. Louis, Nashville. Come on. And up there to Indy. Get your tickets. Like the big man said, it's a great time. These live shows are bonkers. You've seen the clips. Link in the description. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. We'll show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find it out to go to be classy, mm -hmm. or to just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, Dave Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Antody's basement. She's upstairs doing a little gardening. Okay. I ain't talking about tomatoes, though. <laughs> All right. Okay. We got a crop of sour D's coming in a couple of weeks. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, unamused this week. Uh -huh. I take a shot, I swing, and I miss. Yeah. He is a CEO of Are You Garbage, bit of an international businessman himself. He is the Prince of Park Avenue, but always the king of the boards. Uh -huh. Give it up for my best pal, KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are cooking. cooking. And then the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage. Lord. Check it the fuck out. Ooh, love mm -hmm. that money. How about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the magic man makes us all look good. We love him. You love him. Give it up for T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen, everybody. Oh, I got a mic. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, we couldn't be more excited to have not one, but two incredibly special guests here with us today. Our first one is our good pal. He's family at this mm -hmm. point. A very funny stand-up comedian and actor and the star and co-writer of the brand new movie, Fourth of July. Give it up for Jolt and Joe List, everybody. Yeah. I think this is number five. I think, is that yeah. a record? I, th I think you and Ian are tied for five. Fuck Ian. Yeah. Fuck, Fuck you, Ian. No sport coat coming your way, I can tell you that. Ian Finance? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's he got? How many does he have? Probably five or, yeah, probably right around you. I don't know. Yeah. I have to check the stats. I think this is five. I think yeah, it is five something. for you. We love it. We'll send you a All check. Right. All right. Yeah, please well, do. Those big checks. Like, <laughs> everyone yeah. I see, everyone I bump into the comedy scene is like, you know, those are your garbage guys are really making money now. <laughs> <laughs> the word is out. Yeah, I got to center like everybody. It. Fall they back. Don't, they don't like success. 20% for old Joe List, huh? Gang, Joe did not come alone. No. He brought one of the biggest heavy hitters in the biz here with us today. Uh, he is a legendary stand-up comedian, writer, actor, director, and filmmaker. Mm -hmm. Let's cut the bullshit. He's got Emmys. He's got Grammys. He has influenced an entire generation of stand-up comedians, and he is the co-writer and director of the brand new movie, Fourth of July. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mr. Louis C.K. Yeah. Buddy. Really? Buddy. Come All on. right. What an intro. Are you kidding me? Thanks for coming, man. No, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah don't be silly. Be thanks for That's coming great. in, man. You're the reason I have a black t shirt on right now. <laughs> 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 I saw you like 10 years. I'm like, That's my move, baby. Yeah. It simplifies it, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're the reason I wear a watch. I swear to God. You're the reason oh. I wear a watch. Nice oh. pair of sneakers yeah. and a watch. Yep. I once, this is embarrassing. This is garbage. Somebody told me well before I knew you yeah. that Louis C.K. talked about how you cut your burgers in half. I started cutting my burgers and really, oh, I'm not even kidding. God, are you serious? I'm dead serious. Do you cut your? That's burger? garbage. I do. I sometimes I cut them in half. Yeah, yeah. Like Some, a big tall cheeseburger with a lot of shit on it. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> cut it in half. Got it. Yeah. Do you lay it back down on it on its top, or do you do you keep it on its Say on you its keep side? It teeters a little bit on the side, really? depending on the burger. I mean, I don't do it every time. <laughs> <laughs> but somewhere it's not crazy, like Shake Shack, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, it's smash a burger. More kind of like a, a, a hotel burger when they sometimes. come real stacked yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Oh. I don't know if this is garbage, but Shake Shack's the best burger I've ever had in my whole life. I, I think had better, better burgers than that. But the, I'll tell <laughs> you, I think the York reason why think? I cut it is because the inside, the center of the burger bleeding uh -huh. and the juice coming out of it. You like that? That's appealing to me, yeah. What do you get I've never had from? someone understand the show so quick in <laughs> the history of the show. That's crazy. That's what this show is about. That's yeah. insane. How do you get the burger cooked? Medium rare? Medium. Medium? More. Yeah, I don't like when it's red. Like, An aristocrat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Aristocrat. What do you do? Huh? I can't see you going. You're well rare. done all yeah. the way. I'm a medium rare. No, I'm not that garbagey. <laughs> really? I'm a medium rare steak and a medium burger. Because I heard burger, you're not supposed to get medium rare because it's ground beef. That's what I heard. That makes sense. Okay. But medium rare uh, uh, steak. I like a red, bloody fucking steak. 
No, I like it. I'm sorry. I thought you'd be like super medium, well done. medium everything. Medium everything pink, down the board. It's pink inside. Yeah. Okay. Like a gentleman. Yeah. Guys, yeah. congratulations yeah. on the movie, yes. by the way. Thank you very Thank much. You. Appreciate it. If we you, know it's going to be in theaters. You got a couple away. of special yes. events. Yes. Lay it on us. Friday, tomorrow. This comes out Thursday, this right? Comes out Thursday. Thursday maybe. Tomorrow night, Schubert Theater, Boston. It's uh, premiering. We're going to do a Q and A thing. Yes, and then we'll the f- be on stage. Yes. With some of the cast. That's awesome. At the Schubert in Boston, and then then that's almost sold out now. Yes. The Beacon was last night. From if you heard this, that was sold out. And then uh, tomorrow, uh, then Saturday, the Vic Theater in the Chicago. Vic Theater in Chicago. But get those tickets. Chai-tow. About two hundred tickets left there. And then July sixth. Well, first it's also in New York City at uh, the at the uh, Village East Theater, mm-hmm. and in L. A. at the Lemley. Nice. All it starts July first, but then it's in like normal, like it's you can go anytime. A you run, want. yeah. Yeah, but July sixth, AMC Theaters is showing it all over the country. Just awesome. just on the sixth. Whoa! At seven thirty, all over every almost every state. Awesome. The trailer yeah. looks fantastic. Joe, you, you look amazing in it. Thank you. Louie, Bobby looks awesome. Sarah looks awesome. Yeah. Thank Fucking you. fantastic. Yeah. It was a real family effort. We're very excited. It's funny. It's sad. It's sweet. It's gay. It's just beautiful. <laughs> How was the craft <laughs> service? Really... Did he throw out a, a nice Not bread? The, well, it was okay. Yeah, was we actually okay. had good up, up, we had up, some up, up state. We had up, a nice... Great meals. Yeah. And then uh, Louis rented us all big houses, and every night everyone yeah, came to my big giant house. <laughs> 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 yeah. He wasn't money. thrilled about that. I mean, I just fuck. paid for the movie, so I'm in a lot of debt yeah. now. He gave me a lot of money. I gave Straight him a to lot me. Of money. Yeah. What Straight do you do with something like that? You write a check, or are you putting that on a credit card? Uh, the, I mean, a lot of that. You make an account. The movie, the movie has an account. The okay. Movie is its own financial entity. Sure. Nice. Yeah. yeah, pretty classy. Yeah. What is the origin story of Louis C.K.? Take us back. My you, is the origin story. You moved here when you were seven, right? To what? <laughs> to America. Oh, you mean America? America. Yeah. 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 America. <laughs> yeah. Not to uh, Aunt what, yeah. what country do you think this is? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was seven about. When you're we seven. You moved in, and you're up in Boston. Take us, take it from there. I uh, grew up in Boston, uh, suburb in Boston. Okay. I never went to college, but during high school, I started doing open mics. Um, okay. In high school. Yeah, yeah, I was like a senior though, but uh, yeah, that's when I first did it. Oh, in Boston comedy clubs, and then I did my all my friends went to college, and I was just working as like in a car a garage and other shitty jobs, <laughs> and uh, doing st- like a stand up at Jeez. night, fixing and cars. Yeah. Really? You know yeah. how to do I that? I wasn't stuff. like a, I mean, I worked at a garage where they let me do brake jobs and uh, change the radiator out, stuff like that. Imagine that. Good. Louis but I couldn't change someone's brakes. I have Boston. done many brake jobs. <laughs> I've inhaled a lot of it, asbestos, oh, too. Nice. Because you used to be, you spray this spray on the uh-huh. brakes and all the asbestos dust, That's because that's what brake pads are made of. Sure. Just goes in your face. Oh, jeez. And you inhale it. So that'll be what I die of eventually. It takes a long, long time. You might have a, you know, Class action lawsuit yeah, coming up. Yeah, a little mezzo. No, like, oh, one eight hundred, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You gotta get Seymour Barnes on the phone. But yeah, I was a car mechanic, and then I was um, fucking bi- uh, bike messenger, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, the hmm. odds and ends. What was yeah, the childhood digging like? Digging trenches, whatever. Were you, were you like was you uh, parents together? What did the parents divorced do? when I was ten? Okay. I got divorced when I was 10. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, guys making moves. Yeah. yeah. I don't have time I for this. I got brake pads to fix. <laughs> yeah. You pulling out on your big wheel? That's right. I'm still paying her, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got two kids. Said you're running out for cigarettes. That's the last That's time right. we saw them. That's right. Ran out for crayons. <laughs> That's right. Candy cigarettes. So, yeah. No, my parents were divorced when I was a kid and uh, three sisters and... Uh, um, I don't know what else to tell you. Well, did you a lot of drugs. Did a lot of drugs. I when I was a kid. I did a lot of a shit ton of drugs. At what age did you start? Like twelve. Yeah, that's Jesus. like a real yeah. divorced kid thing. Yeah, I mean, I started smoking cigarettes like r- like pack a day when I was like eleven. <laughs> and then, yeah, well, that and then answers the question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Check out the movie. Yeah. <laughs> Smoked a shit ton of pot, did acid. Did your pa- did like your that. parents smoke? Is that how you started? My dad did, but not when I was knew him because he had a, a piece of his lung. He almost died when I was being born because he had a piece of his lung taken out. Oh, like, I, I think he was in the emergency room while I was being born. Like <laughs> that's trashy. Did you ever, have your parents right? ever been in the same hospital as you when <laughs> yeah. you were being born? Yeah. Did you ever roll him up in your sleeve? Oh, did I ever cigarettes? Yeah. I tried it a couple times, but I you know, <laughs> I couldn't carry it. Didn't stick. I wanted to. I wanted to. It wasn't the 50s. He's not the Fonz. <laughs> no. no, but there was like Ma- Matthew, uh, what's his name? Fuck, uh, Matt Dillon. Phoenix? Matt Dillon oh. was in this oh, movie, uh, Little, Little Darlings. Uh. 
and he rolled and he rolled it up. Everybody did that. It was cool. I wanted to do that. Yeah, he was something. He was a looker when he was young. He was a good looking young <laughs> man. I'll tell you right now, man, huh? the outsider is hachi munchy. Yeah, mm-hmm. oh, mm-hmm. oh, yummy, 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 yummy. Everybody got it. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fucking smoking. That movie's good for a few shots. Uh, I right, said the other day, yesterday in a backyard hang that Tom Cruise in Top Gun is the hottest I've ever seen a man, and I, everyone just uh, made fun of me. You're crazy. I just asked my. They, it was on TV yesterday. I was at my parent at my mom's house, and I asked. My girlfriend uh-huh. and my and my mom. I'm like, he's hot, right? And they're like, ah. Oh. I'm like, him or Val Kilmer? They were like, him all the way. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you got puts to. the aviators on the smile. Oh forget, yes, yeah, yeah, man. Val, Val Kilmer was pretty hot too. Val though. Kilmer was. Smoking. I gotta tell you, in the new one, Tom Cruise with his uh, playing the football on the beach mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. with his shirt off, fucking hangs in with those young kids. It's crazy. He looks good. He yeah. keeps it crazy. fucking tight. That's crazy. Might How be old some is of he? that Scientology. He's, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, fifty. Know. He's in his fifties, right? He's got to be. 50. He has to be. He has yeah. late fifties. Late fifties. No, it's got to be. No. Yes, of course. Nineteen eighty six. T-bone, get on that. What do we got? Six years ago. Late fifties. Fifty nine. Whoa! Whoa. Shit. No, I still I don't. I'm still overruling <laughs> the. How, how old I think are he's you? Younger or older? Uh, I mean, no, I thought he was younger. All the right moves is eighty three. Leah Thompson's tits. Thompson's tits. All the right moves was all right. Yeah, it was great. That spoke to me There's, directly. Yeah, but the end is, ta- I think the end was reshot and tacked on because the end doesn't make any sense. The very last scene, the movie's really good. It's like a good movie. It's mm-hmm. like you guys, f- f- Pennsylvania movie. Yeah, 100%. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he just, he has his dream. It doesn't work out because of some bullshit. Mm-hmm. And he goes into the fucking dirty steel mill and it's over. That's the ending. Yeah. But then I swear this is what happened. I mean, I'm imagining they... They turned that in, and the studio was like, "Are you out of your mind?" It's got to be more lighthearted. <laughs> so they right went now. and got they got what's his name, uh, Greg T. Nelson, Greg T. Nelson, and uh, and uh, Sean Penn. No, Wait, the Chris woman, Penn? Chris Penn, Leah Thompson. No, but it was Leah Thompson and Greg T. Nelson and and Tom and Tom Cruise. The last scene is the three of them, and it doesn't make any sense. He's at work, and she comes and says, "Hey, the coach is here." And the coach says, "Hey, I'm working at this university. Oh and yeah, you're gonna get to be the rest, the football guy there. Isn't that great?" <laughs> and he goes, "Yeah," but he looks at her and goes, "What about you? Do, uh, then I won't see you." And she goes, "I don't. I love you." The end. Yeah, it makes no yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they don't look in character. It's like they check. They put the clothes back on. Like I can't believe I'm doing this again. <laughs> like one guy's got a mustache. Yeah, they yeah. look a little tan. He decide, he, that guy really died in the mill. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. like he was. He was already making Top Gun, and he was like, "Are you serious? Can we shoot that?" <laughs> so it looks a little off. I'm in Miramar. Yeah, yeah. What kind yeah. of work did your mom do? She is a computer uh, a software. Um, engineer. She wrote co- Jeez, code. Whoa. She Back to then? be specific. She wrote code for a fourth generation language, which is like really heavy industrial. Yeah, she wrote the code. She talked talked to the binary. Where did she go? She went to college. Yes, she did. She was a very bright person. She was extremely. She she worked in computers when there were punch cards, like but way back when. Like right. I grew up with computers, like in the house, because she was very good at what she did. Uh. So she would take home terminals with these this cradle for the phone. You'd call the computer at work. And it would go whoosh, 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 and she'd put it in the anyway. And she That's was uh, crazy. Yeah, she was very. Is that good where at you think job. you got your knack for? You do. You, know, you do tinkering have stuff. and stuff. Yeah. Well, her her father. I mean, her brother, my uncle Jack, who's still alive. She, my mom's passed away, but Jack was a engineer in the Navy. He was a CB. He, he went to Annapolis. CB, yeah. They were they yeah. were dirt farm, dirt poor farm kids from Michigan. Your from, pay, your your my, mom's my generation. mom and her and her brother, but they just thought they were b- smart uh-huh. they education to themselves out of there okay well, my mom raised us alone my dad was a, is a mexican uh, economist okay um, and so that's not a huge Good buck industry. In that <laughs> 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 we're tanking down here yeah yeah <laughs> sounds like a cartel member to be honest yeah with yeah, you. yeah but so my dad uh but they met they were both like in college when they met and, okay, uh, yeah. so he was over here going to college. Where'd your mom go to college again? She went to, well, she was in Michigan, but she went to Michigan, but she went. University of? Yeah. Damn, that's pretty good. Then she went to Ohio State, though. She went to the two rivals. Jesus. Because Walks she had a boyfriend worlds. in Ohio State, and okay. she thought they were going to get married, but he just got, he was just drinking and having a good time, and she liked serious people. So she moved to, she went to Harvard, uh, like, what? summer school, summer school. Like, she just went there to take some courses. And my dad was there going to business school. Damn. My dad came from a very high pressure family in Mexico. His, okay. His father put, he had nine kids and they all got doctorates. Like they were Jesus. all about education. So, so they get divorced. So, 
That's it. You don't see your dad. No, my dad was around, but not a big part. My mom raised us. Right. right. Pay. My dad didn't have an income really ever. He just didn't didn't work out for him. Hmm. And my mom raised a single mom working every day. In a house or an apartment? In a little half a house. Rented half of a house. There was little people upstairs. We were downstairs. Like one of those three Decker Johns? Yeah, that, like that. It was two Jesus. Decker, but it was like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was the owner upstairs or was it no, another upstairs tenant? No, upstairs was another tenant. Okay. Yeah. Used to, when we first moved there, was the owner. Nice guy, Mr. Um, John Panagaco. <laughs> that was his name. That was his Mr. Belvalacqua. Mr. Tomasillo. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, so they, they uh, and we lived like a block from the B- B- Mass Turnpike, was behind it, the hiss of the turnpike oh, I grew that's up with. Bad. And there was a freight train all the time. I used to actually like that. Though. Yeah, it puts you to sleep at it night. It does. At yeah. night, when a freight train goes by and the whole house sh- like settles and shakes. Right, well, that's, it's you got some comforting. issues, because that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's nuts. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. As Jackson Instead of Brown. putting on rain, you yeah. put like sound of traffic. Exactly. <laughs> but then we'd go to Mexico. So I, I mean, I lived there until I was born in D.C. But because my dad was working there, and then we moved there when I was less than one. Okay. And I lived there till I was seven. Came here without an English. I spoke Spanish first. You can speak Spanish fluently now. Not great. Really? I, I really. Dro- I dropped it hard in order to adapt. Uh huh. Because I loved America. I mean, I remember I have my memory is coming to America. That's crazy. Oh. And uh, they weren't inviting it. in Boston for diversity at the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at me. I don't yeah. look. I, you That's know, also true. I did all right. Oh, I everybody did all think right. you were a cop. All of a no. sudden, you start speaking Spanish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, no. So I liked my life. And then, and then, uh, and then in high school, I started hearing local radio in Boston. Uh, a lot of comedy. Comedy was big in the, it was the 80s. I graduated right. high school in 85, and there was this huge peak of stand-up at the time in Boston. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, really it was the heyday of it. Thriving yeah. local scene, and you'd hear them on the radio. They had this 5 o'clock funnies show on the radio. Um, and so I started hearing. I heard Stephen Wright was the first guy I heard sure. that, I was, that they said he's from Boston. And I and I thought, wow, this comedy hit because I always thought of comedy as this Hollywood thing. Sure, of course. But there's comedy in Boston, and that's and I loved Stephen Wright. Still do. He's my friend now. And um, so I got into the idea of going on. And I found that I heard one day on five o'clock funnies, hey, we do. You want to drop by? You can do five minutes. And so I tried an open mic. That's, that's key for you to realize that it is in Boston. Yeah, where you're hearing, like, hearing that there's yeah, a place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's uh, there's people like me doing that. You can just go do it. Well, I thought I would be like the new kid. I had this whole other idea. Like, it's all going to be these professional comics, and I'll be the one new kid. Sure. I was did not know there would be like 38 people lining up. Uh, <laughs> to all for six yeah, spots. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You thought you'd walk right in like Henry Hill, huh? Yeah, <laughs> but you did get on. When I started, started, you could get on by showing up. It was actually not that many new guys. Uh-huh. So And the uh, open mics were very popular in Boston. So they were packed. Yeah. And Philly you could was definitely get way, on. Yeah. You just had to sign up. Mm-hmm. Philly was like that. When you started? Like, were you like, I mean, did you take off pretty good? So I was so bad. Really? I got through two and a half of my five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and I to silence, just like what I did that last week? Like that kind of silence where it's not just like, eh, it's like what is he? Doing? Deafening silence, yeah. <laughs> like they're like sh- a little shocked. You hear the ice? Yeah, terrible. <laughs> oh man, you hear yeah, someone slurping a ice. drink. <laughs> oh, and then bad. I walked off, and I was just so ashamed. And the host made fun of how I didn't do last time. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then uh, I went on one more time, and it went as badly. And I thought I can't. I can't do this. Wow. Uh, but then like a year later, like right after I graduated high school, um, there was a place in Cambridge called Off the Wall Cinema. It was a, uh, it was a weird cinema with weird movies. Mm-hmm. And they okay. sell, you, you get coffee and carrot cake and watch a movie. <laughs> so I used to go there to watch <laughs> weird movies and foreign movies. And they had, they had a signed comedy Saturday at midnight. And there was this weird guy named Ron Lynch, who's still my friend. Yeah. And Ron did a show called Comedy Clubhouse. And it was all just offbeat. Wacky. Just acts. fucked up comedians that didn't, you know, some of them were just so strange. Mm-hmm. And I was in love. I was like, I have to do this. So I asked to go on and he let me. And my first set at that place was like, boom. Cooked a little bit. Cooked. I was like, oh, I think I can. I think maybe I can do this. And all the comedians that I had, I'd been coming already for a month watching every Saturday. And all these comedians who I knew their acts by heart, they all came up to me after my set and said, shit, that was really good. You were really funny. And I, and I mean, the, that feeling was probably better than anything I've felt since. <laughs> <laughs> like, nothing's been that I know clean. That. Chasing the dragon. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Chasing yeah, the dragon. It's never as good as the first never one. Never that good. No sports, anything in, in high school? 
No, I played Pop Warner football. I loved it. Okay. I loved football. I wanted to play. And um, I was big for my age. So. Okay. And then junior high school was the first time to go out for a team. And I just stood on the field the day you're trying out. And I'm just watching this guy just, uh, you fucking, put like really cursing at the mm-hmm. kids. You fucking pussies. And like guys and the seniors or whatever, the t- older kids crowding around younger kids and spit on them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. And it was all on just like on the field was just this display of here's where you get hazed. Here's where the coach screams at you. <laughs> and I was like, I no just thought I this. can actually just walk away from <laughs> this. <laughs> I just like football. Like, can we just play <laughs> football? <laughs> It was just so intense and angry. More of a carrot cake and foreign film guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit lighter. Anybody with a VCR yeah. I can yeah. take apart by any chance? Yeah, I'm exactly. not talking about the foreign films around that goes. Yeah, I'm paying yeah. that. Yikes. Well, yeah, so I didn't get into it. And, and, uh, and then I started drugs soon after that. So nice. That makes sense. Okay, let's talk about that butcher box. Butcher box. You going to grill this summer or you going to be a gonna loser? Go- of course I'm going to grill. Get I got- out there on the grill. Get the charcoal cooking. Get the Weber going. And what are you going to do? You got a nice grill. You spend all that money. You get a nice grill. What are you going to do? Huh? You're going to go to the pharmacy and get fucking uh, b- b- antibiotic chicken? No. What are you going to do? I'm going to call Butcher Box. That's what you're going to do. You're going to call Butcher Box. Grass fed, wild caught, free range. They got it all, baby. Yes. And right now, new subscribers can receive free grilling bundle in their first order. Uh, Butcher Box, high quality meat and seafood ship right to your doorstep. Every month, Butcher Box ships a curated selection. It's of, crazy. Of high quality meat right to your home for free in a continental U.S. Throw it in the so- freezer when you're ready to start grilling. When you want to wow the neighbors, show off to the in laws, you pull it out, you defrost it, put your seasoning on it, boom, slap it on the ground. You're grab. probably thinking this thing's probably full of hormones, antibiotics. No antibiotics, no added hormones. El it's natural. Packed, packed fresh, ship frozen for convenience so you can save time on your next grocery store trip. Customize your own box or go with one of theirs because they know what everybody likes, what everybody's getting. Either way, you get exactly what you want. High quality meat, delicious, 100% grass fed, free range organic chicken, pork raised, crate free and wild caught seafood. Wild caught. On beatable value, less than $6 per meal on average. Get the summer sizzling started with go. special butcher box deal for our Are You Garbage listeners. Are you, are you ready? You ready? Typically, I give you the turkey. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to give you the bacon. Why? Because it's free bacon. Again? For life, for the membership. What are you guys doing? You're giving a store away. Plus $10 off. Sign up for today. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash AYG. Use code AYG and get one pack of free bacon in every box crazy. for the life of your membership. Plus $10 off your first order. That's butcherbox.com. Use promo code garbage. Claim this deal. Back to that show. Back to the show. Forget. Smoke a little doobie. A lot of pot and my friends, a lot of guys, kids used to do mescaline. We used to take mescaline. Okay. And acid. <laughs> Man, that's old school. Yeah. And uh, yeah. quaaludes. Quaaludes were big. When Ludes. I was kids. Really? Quaaludes were yeah. big back in the day. Yeah. You ever take the lemons, the famous ones? 714, yeah. man. Yeah. Jesus. And uh, they're dangerous. Put them on me if you that's, want them. <laughs> that's the home run record. Is that related? <laughs> I don't know. 714 was big. That was the number on It was a big, huge pill. I had 714 on it. Is that look that up? That might be connected. <laughs> no, there's no Maybe way that's that. Right. <laughs> Wait, you tell me saying Babe Ruth was on Ludes? So <laughs> that what you're insinuating? Was it, was it Babe Ruth 714? Babe Ruth had 714, and then Hank Aaron hit 715. There's a new home run champion of all time, and it's Henry Aaron. All right, 715. Uh, Did yeah. you want to go to college? Sports. I, <laughs> I did. I was interested in it, in going to college. Uh, somewhere down, I wanted to be a writer or something. Mm-hmm. Um, you had to take a filmmaking class or something, right? Well, so I just saw so many. Mo- I loved movies so much, and I ate them up. I had one eighth grade teacher who was uh, social studies, but all he did was show us really cool, weird movies. He just had great prints of movies. Shows you know sixteen millimeter prints of That's weird awesome. movies, and then he gave everybody an A. He didn't care what you yeah. did, Damn. and that inspired me. His name was Vignone. Ty Vignone was his name. Mm. Very gay fella, and nice. inspired the hell out of me. Uh, and then, uh, high school, um, I was depressed cause I quit drugs. So I went into kind of a, like a Sh- deep depression do it, Yeah, <laughs> cause I didn't have any guidance. I just stopped and then I started again and it was a, it's a rough road, but I was doing fucking mescaline cold Turkey. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, you're, you're, no you're wonder a, you like the freight trains. You're exactly. at an NA meeting in Charlestown. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 12 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, I had, well, I had this one teacher in sophomore year of high school. Cause we started in sophomore year in my high school and, uh, I had, I had quit drugs and I got straight A's the first like quarter of the year. 
and then I just went back to drugs sure. and stopped going to school. So they brought, they had a meeting because there's a lot of shitty kids in the school, but they're like, this kid was smart for like a He's minute. He's got potential. Yeah. yeah. What are we doing? So we, we can save this, this one. Yes. So we had this meeting. My homeroom teacher, I, uh, Mr. Fucking, I wish I would remember his name, Blair. I think his name was Mr. Blair. And he said, listen, you can't do, if you're not going to go to school, I can't make you, but you can't do nothing. Like, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I wish I could make movies or television. That's what I wanted. Wow. And he said, what if I could help you with that? So he went and there was, at the time, cable TV was pretty new. And every town got a local access cable sure, station. Sure. And our town negotiated for a very good one. It was like a, a serious studio with a news program and sports. So he got me an internship at a local oh, access fuck. cable station. And I went there one day and they're like, we're going to teach you anything you want, how to edit, how to shoot, how to uh, direct, anything you want to learn, we'll teach you how to do it. And I am, I mean, that just, I didn't, I stopped all the bullshit in that moment. Sure. Because wow. I was like, that's, if I just Fine. come here, you I can your learn this it. stuff. Yeah, of course. And then I'm not going to fuck up school now. I want to be a, a real person. So I got very serious. I went back to my high school when I won an Emmy and I brought it with me and I showed it to that guy. No shit. And I told him, you did this. It's the one chance I got to do that. He was like the one guy I could say that yeah pulled me out of the shit. Wow. It gave me an opportunity. But what? so and I was like the whiz kid at this station, and I loved. So I would learn because I I found it because I'm a tech guy and I was a mechanical guy. Hey, you have like an engineer's brain. Yeah, I do. I like tech stuff. So yeah. when you work at a place like that, they just don't want you to break stuff. So I knew how to fix the stuff. So I was allowed to take stuff home. I could go take a whole back then a video. Kit was a the camera was this big, just a huge sure. camera, and it hooked up with a cable this thick to a tape deck, just giant giant tape, sure, tape yeah, deck. Yeah, yeah. It was so heavy, it was so hard to handle that stuff. But anyway, I knew the equipment, so they let me take it home, and I'd make weird little movies with my friends, and then edit. I learned how to edit from one tape deck to another. That's how I used to edit back then. Crazy, like you'd lay down one shot at a time. And then if you made a mistake, you couldn't fix the middle. You had to, it, it was a nightmare, Man. but I loved it. And I covered the baseball games and the football games for the high school. And really? Yeah. Like I knew how to run the van. There was a van with three cameras. I knew what how to. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's yeah, I was, I was obsessed. <laughs> this I was kid's obsessed. on loots. What are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Giving his kid camera equipment? That's right. Holy shit. Oh. So that was when I had started learning how to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. That's okay. fucking wild, man. All right. Yeah. Let's get into some fucking are you right, garbage good. questions. Yes. What was the high school mascot? A tiger. Not bad. Pretty yeah. good. Name Generic. of the high school? The Newton North. Newton North Tigers. Newton North. Not yeah. bad. Um, since uh, nobody lives there, what was the name of the street that you grew up on? Newtonville Avenue. Newton? Not bad. Yeah. Newtonville and Avenue. But the, nice. the, the freight train the, 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 yeah, behind the freight it in the line. mass yeah, yeah. turnpikes, not a good look. No, no. <laughs> what, was That's the name tough. Of, what was the name of the grocery store that your mom went to as a kid? Star Market. Star Market kid. See what makes us shine. <laughs> that was their thing. That was their thing. Star yeah. Market. <laughs> see what makes yeah. us shine. The Star Mar I hated Star Market because anytime I asked my mom for money, I'd be like, I want a little money to go to play video games. Sometimes you go, go to their they're hiring at Star Market. Oh. You see you see real two Boston experiences between <laughs> yeah, Louie yeah. and Joe. Yes. Yeah. Star Market. <laughs> Someone plug that in there in the, in the, in post. Star Market. <laughs> see what makes Star us Star Market shine. had a thing called the uh, uh, Jim Rice Butch Hobson baseball clinic. Where the two of those two players okay. would teach you baseball in like the parking lot. That's what? a weird well, pairing. It, it was they would you had to fill out a, a thing and they, put it in a box. And then they would so select. I took the whole deck of them home, and I spent all night filling it out. Did and you I win? Won. Oh wow! Yeah. That's, you, I mean, that's garbage. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. You're rigging an election at yes. a stop market. I rigged an election. <laughs> and we, you know, they took you to some high school, and they, they played with tennis balls, not even baseballs. Uh, that's no and fun. Jim Rice was just like, this sucks. Like, you could tell he was like, this sucks. It was a community service yes. for him or something. And Butch Hobson had a southern accent, and I was like, why? Is he, he's not from Boston? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a phony. Get him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> this commie out of the ballpark. Yeah. Uh, anyway, sorry. Oh. Long answer to the question. No, stop market. Course. No, of course. Uh, where did you, where growing up, where did you go to the supermarket? Star Market as well? No, we had, there was Trukies, which is a name. <laughs> that doesn't sound Here good. And everybody, no, called no. It, everybody called it Truchies. This always bothered me. because it was two C's, right? It was right? C-C-H-I, but the, their ad thing, their slogan was the true key to shopping. And so we were like, no, it's Trukies. 
the that, true key, key to, to shopping. shopping. Everyone's like, no, it's true cheese. It's the true <laughs> cheese. <to shopping. laughs> we had cheese. We had true cheese, and then we had Johnny Foodmaster. What? Oh that God. sounds like a karate guy. <laughs> um, Come yeah. on down to Johnny Foodmaster. And then there was Shaw's. Johnny Foodmaster for all your cold cut needs. <laughs> Hiya! Shaw's and, and Star Market. We parked Shaw's. at Star Market. Was we went to shit. Fenway. That was the parking lot. Was does, in a Star Market. Does he know the story about the go kart? I, I think you do. I think I remember go kart. Parents. My, my parents, I was at Stone's video video store, and I'll tell it quick because I've told it before, but you put your name in to win a go-kart. He didn't rig the in. election. I was he seven years old. You just put one in? I put one in. I was seven. Hopeless. They, Pussy. they won. <laughs> they called us at home and said, you won a go-kart. I was so excited. Crazy. My, God. my parents let me drive it around the neighborhood, and I gave every single neighbor There's a picture a in the paper. It's they in made the paper. The paper. We're yeah. in the newspaper. It's my dad, my mom, and dad, and I'm sitting in the go-kart with my sister. And then they ended up, my parents sat me down and said, we, you can't have the go-kart. We're trading it to Uncle, Bo Uncle Bob. He was my Uncle Brian's brother, Bob. And they a couple said, of screeners of police academy. <laughs> We're trading it for a trip to the Bahamas. And I was like, great, I can get I can to the Bahamas. And they're like, well, it's just dad and I. It's an adult. <laughs> How insane is that? You didn't know this? No, I never so heard that. It's Fourth of July in theaters now. So oh I told my, my parent, I told my wife the story just a couple years ago on the Joker's oh Wild Cruise, uh, Impractical Joker's Cruise, and I told Sarah as a funny story, and she started sobbing. <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> a sad. Like, that's that's yeah. the first didn't the guy story. live near you? Wasn't didn't you see him driving around in the thing? No, I don't. I don't know about that. But he did live near. He was related to us, so he had the go kart. So I had a go kart for a day. I was the coolest kid in school, and I that's lost like it. Your parents said to you, "Listen, you have we we you have cancer, but there is a cure." <laughs> <laughs> but we're not well, gonna, yeah, we're, we're going to be in the Bahamas if you need us. It we don't want to miss the mash no. runs. So we'll be my hedonism, unfortunately, oh, and, uh, stinks. <laughs> How'd you do on your SATs, Louis? Did you take your SATs? I took them and I did very, very badly. I What's just remember. Bad? I don't remember the numbers. Below a thousand? I think so. Huh? I don't know. I don't remember exactly though. I, I took, wonder if you took, I took an now. AP art. I took AP art. Uh, um, um, an AP art history. Um, Class. Test. Okay. Test. And I got, I want, you know, four or whatever the best. What, Want I to go kart? Aced, I aced it. Yeah. <laughs> I, aced it. I just didn't like the SATs. I didn't enjoy it. Okay. I um, do what you would do now. I don't remember what I got. I know it was low. I didn't practice for it. I just went and walked in and did it. I got an 870, so don't feel bad. Nice. Yeah. 1140, Good, right? not Brad. No, 870 is very, very bad. Is no, it? Yeah. Bad, yeah. What'd you get list? 1050, baby. <laughs> there you go. Four <laughs> digits. Eight, I mean, eight, I'm a smart eight, motherfucker. Eight something sounds familiar to me. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah you probably something. got it on verbal. Yeah. That's, yeah, you know, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ate something. A dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what were the vacations like growing up? Uh, Any vacations? No, we didn't go on vacations. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no we didn't like... go on vacations. I went to day camp during the summer. That's really? what I would do. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could drive to some place and, you know, to some, I don't know, whatever it was. Yeah, whatever. Stoughton, Mass. Okay. Oh, that's where I was born. Yeah. Tough town. Yeah. You collect any Chinese stars, nunchucks, anything like that when you were a kid? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, liked, I liked Bruce Lee when I was a kid, but I didn't collect that kind Fireworks? of Fireworks? Oh, you mean any collections? Yeah, yeah, anything. yeah. Anything. What were you doing? Um, I we would go to the CVS and steal stuff. <laughs> <There was a, laughs> CVS was yeah. in existence back oh, yeah, then. Yeah, like a long time. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah, That's yeah. I wild. would go to CVS and shoplift giant chocolate bars, like giant Hershey bars, uh -huh. and Zippo lighters. Ooh man, I like the way that sm I like <laughs> <What> smelling <laughs> and lighting Zippo lighters. It's doing the Costanza. Like smelling and lighting Zippo lighters. Zippo lighters. <laughs> yeah, fun. Those were my hobbies. You like the smell of gasoline. I do. We just smelled it. We were just, uh, when we were waiting for the cab. Yeah, busy day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's hit to Sunoco on 8th Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> we just, a guy was pouring gas into his food truck. Yeah. It was beautiful. Off a little paint. Mm. Got to see what the boys are doing. Why, is mm. like the smell of gas garbage? I it is. It. I don't I, think the I Kennedys are doing it. No. You know. <laughs> gas, my favorite is asphalt. Fresh asphalt in the summer. No way. Ooh. Asphalt's better than oh, gas. Oh, that takes me back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No way. That yeah. and the tar. Yeah. No, you're tar out of your mind. Good. Tar's, Tar's all right. Great. Tar's, good. Tar's okay, maybe, but <laughs> gas is yeah. primo. I just think about that scene in Shawshank when they're up there and that, that hot tar and the beer. It's like very... Oh, uh, yeah. I can, the, the, the smell in that cold beer fucking hits me. Yeah. That beer looks like it fucking hit the spot. Yeah. Mm. Do you drink? If you have a drink, what's your drink? I like, like winding down. Red wine. Red wine? Yeah, and whiskey. I like scotch, good scotch. Okay. Good. And I like beer, but I don't drink much. Okay. But those are the three things I like. Very cold beer. I assume you've had a couple nice French wine. wine. Yeah, I've had, I've had some very good French wine. Like, I go crazy for, like, a very good 
French How wine. expensive we talking? Yeah, what's the most expensive bottle of wine you ever bought? Oh, sh- a lot. 2000 3000 Something like that, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it has been a long time since I've done that. Uh-huh. Okay. I live very differently than I used to. I used to have gold watches. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> I sold that's a all. sweet shark watch. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. Does that go that's, underwater, Louie? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's pleather. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I don't do stuff like that no more. But I used to go like, let's get to bed this, you know, crazy sure, wine. Sure, of course. Once in a while, I buy a have a, a you know heavy bottle of scotch, like a really good a good scotch, yeah, and yeah. I keep that for a long. I don't. I it'll keep it for months. Just sip on it. Yeah. Nice yeah. bottle of Yellowtail these days. <laughs> that's, that's, right. that's right. That's right. That's I think your finest box you have back there, please. <laughs> yeah. Um. What if you're going to dinner, you know, at a friend's house, mm-hmm. uh, and you're bringing a bottle of wine? Do you have like yeah. a go-to? What's what? What are you? What are you spending around there? Uh, Anything? It, it depends on the friend, right? This is what we get into. Yeah. Yeah. There's you got the. The wine that oh, was brought this. to you last. <laughs> <laughs> just put, uh, you're just regifting. Just regift the uh-huh. last one that brought to you. Uh, that's a power. Bro. Shut I never up thought with a toaster. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Three if anybody lights. brings me wine, I ain't drinking it. Let's, really? let's say I'm not. It's not going to be what I like. So I just hold on to that until next time. I wow. that's re- I no one's ever had that answer. That's really smart. Yeah, you got to do that. Let's and say Martin Scorsese, Martin Scorsese says he watches the movie. He sees Fourth of July. He says it's fantastic. I want to discuss Joe. how you guys came up with it, how yeah. how you worked with someone like Joe Liss, how good he was. <laughs> Come over to my house. I want to discuss how you got this Probably performance out of this guy. Yeah. What do you bring in there? I that's mean, a different I mean, I bring a, 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 him or somebody I just really like. And feel or feel grateful to somebody, you know what I mean, like that, like somebody who I'm like really want to wow, I'll get a, press, a yeah. Lynch bag, uh, 2005 if you can find it, 2006 if you can only find it, 2006. Lynch and bag, those, Lynch, it's French. Oh. It's um, L Y N C H and then B A G G E S. I don't mm. have Lynch bage. I don't know yeah. how the fuck uh. to say it. Lynch bag. Yeah. That's the <laughs> fucking Boston order. coming out. They got you a lynch bag. Let me get a 2022 lynch <laughs> yeah. bag. But that's about two to four hundred dollars. That's, that's okay. A, that's a flex, yeah. Uh, or any kind of like uh, Margot's are good. Okay. San Julian kind of things. Mm-hmm. Sure. Any of those uh, in the range of two to four hundred dollars. Margot's are nice. A Rude Margot's Julian. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you like red wise? You a Cabernet guy? You a Melbeck guy? What do you like? Only those Bordeaux. I'm just really into French Bordeaux. Really? I can get it. Uh, I was just in uh, Copenhagen on tour, and our, our um, promoter, he's obsessed with restaurants. He's been to all the best restaurants in the world. He's one of these guys. Sure. Mm-hmm. He'll wait months to go somewhere or whatever. So he told me Copenhagen is his favorite city for restaurants and that he was sending me to the, the best. best. of the, So it's his favorite place. And I did a, ta- a pairing, you know. You get a tasting menu with sure. wine pairings. And they introduced me to uh, um, natural wine. This is a new thing. Yes, very new. Yeah. So they start you with the white one. With a, for, they start you with a champagne and then white. And then it gets like literally those orange wines. And then you get deeper red as you the meal goes on. And hmm. they're cloudy. And they're not, there's no filtering. They're not like refined no, or anything. Nothing. You know? It's just it's like the you grape. taste the earth in it. It's Damn. just, yes, you can really. And I, that's what I like about wine is being able to taste. Like, I feel like I could taste the weather when it was and the, the soil. So these things, holy shit. And there's a gamey, like almost rotten smell to them. Like pussy. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the wines get, and at one point I was like, I'm getting, like I trusted them. And I'm like, do people? What do people do to not get drunk? And they go, No, you get drunk. That's yeah, what that's, what, that's the point. I was like, yeah, you're really? fucked up. And I had to, I had to walk along the buildings. Of the, I mean, I barely made it back to the hotel. <laughs> really, you were that fucked? I was blind. Was I almost? I've never blacked out drunk. Yeah, I've never they're serving drank. you fucking I Copenhagen like, fucking moonshine. Yes, yeah. like, yeah. like Sharon insane. Stone in Casino. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> House of the Rising Suns play. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> that's how I felt. <laughs> and it was a bad day the next day. You do ice in the wine. No, Excellent. crazy. <laughs> I knew Jesus. that was going to piss you off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, how many suits do you own? Uh, a lot, but I don't wear them anymore. I had one tour where I wore oh, suits. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got the... Because I, I can't... I wear a suit, and in 10 minutes, I look like... A disheveled, 100%. a bad accountant. Yeah, or like a guy yeah. who's had a nervous break. Sure, yeah. I'm the same way. <laughs> I put That's on how a suit. They fit me. The second I get into a car, or sit yeah. down, yeah. it's fucking over. The shirt over. comes up and out. Oh, it's hard. And the yeah. pants are down to you my. Look like balls. a kid at his communion party. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> like a fat kid at the end of a wedding. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> fucking cake on your face. That's it. <laughs> yeah. But when Brutal. I was I was in San Francisco with my daughter, and we went to a thrift store, and she found a suit that it was like really cool and uh-huh. almost fit. So I found a tailor in San Francisco. I'd never even been to one, and I said, "Can you 
Do get this, this to yeah. me. And he said, yeah, by the way, I can make you suits. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you can get yeah. one, just get whatever you want. <laughs> and he wasn't expensive, but he was, uh, Peter Panos is his name. And I, I picked, just that day, I picked a bunch. Cool. I decided it that day, I'm going to wear suits. You're going to be mm-hmm. a suit guy. I'm going to wear suits. I always wanted, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a comedian in suits. Sure. And uh, so I had a bunch of shirts and suits made by that guy, like eight of them. And uh, he sent them. I wore them a whole, for a whole tour of war suits. Hmm. Yeah. But I'm done with it. I'm not going to do it again. Any Armani or anything like that you got at the house? Uh, like from a couple of movies I was in that they let me keep the suits. Nice. Uh, you own a tux? I do own a tux because I used to go to award shows every all the time. Sure. Yeah. Nice. Yes. You know how to tie a bow tie? Uh, yeah, I could. I used. I did it a few times. I'd, I'd need a refresher. It's tough, yeah. I don't know how to tie a regular tie. Really? Is yeah. that garbage? I don't think you have a tux, <laughs> Mister List. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I got uh, two suits. <laughs> nice suits, right? Ted Baker, Very right? Ted Baker, Ted Baker, baby. Baker I just got Very a Ted nice. Baker bag. I love it. Hey, yeah, he's good all right. Good stuff, Ted Baker. Yeah. But I remember hearing Patreon. you talk about. Him. I thought it was somebody you knew. I thought he was like a fan or something. <laughs> That's how trashy I was. No, Ted Baker. You know Ted Baker kid. <laughs> I remember when Ted Baker was. I don't know how long he's been around, but I think he was a new thing. Uh huh. And I was with Chris Rock at, in Aspen, Colorado. At a festival, and there was like a lot of people. There was a lot of um, uh, activity. People were excited. A lot of famous people there. Mm-hmm. And Chris was huge, and I was nothing at the time. And uh, somebody came up to us with a headset and just said, "Get in this van. We're taking everybody to, and we're just talking." So we just let ourselves be put in a van. Anyway, next thing we know, we're in a Ted Baker store. And they had closed the store for Chris, really? and they said, "Pick whatever you want, and it's yours." And Chris is a high class, classy guy. And he said, just, he said to the girl, you pick me one shirt. You pick it for me. Like, nice. that's the kind of guy he is. Louis going and to the I, was like, I was like, <laughs> like you no, know, I went to the leather jackets. I said, I want one of these. Yeah. And they're like, um, are you Chris Rockstar? <laughs> they had to unlock it. It had a lock on it. Oh, I was like, yeah. I want one of these. Cause I was like, I'm never going to be in here. Chris, <laughs> Chris is trying to maintain this lifestyle. I was like, this is Burn my it last to the ground. time. This yeah, is yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. Here so you I, go, I still caveat. have it. It's a really good leather jacket. Mm-hmm. That's fucking wild. Did you do hands across America? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. Did you go to live aid? No. Farm aid? No. Okay. Do you have AIDS? <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a pet rock growing up? Uh, I had a mood ring. Ooh. Yeah, that's what we're looking that's for. That's tough. Yeah. <laughs> Any yeah. chia pets or anything? Yeah. No, I think I might have had a pet rock. Yeah. I think I might have. <laughs> were you a Captain Kangaroo guy when you were a kid? Uh, I liked the moose. I hated Captain Kangaroo, but I liked that moose very much. <laughs> Dude, those cartoons had a lot of in the 70s those. were fucking wild. Yeah. I like there was some... Uh, so well, I like Bullwinkle very much. Okay, those were very funny. What about H.R. Puff and stuff? That used to freak me the fuck so out. So I uh, there was th- that was pretty good, but then they had these offshoot ones like um, yeah, uh, what the fuck? The new Zoo Review, Zoobly Zoo, new Ru- Zoo Review was a was a, uh, a, fro- a frog, <laughs> Freddy Frog. What? Yeah, like how fucking shitty that you know Freddy Frog, and then a wise owl and a Henrietta Hippo. <laughs> And I hated them. It was very kind of. Cr- I think they tried to uh, go against H and R Huff and yeah. with kind of Christian ones, <laughs> and I hated those. Jesus the Mule. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was your first concert? Uh, Queen. Really? Yeah. Oh. Billy Squire opening for Queen, and Billy Squire was amazing too. Holy Queen shit. in Boston Garden. Wow. God, Damn, man, that's a incredible fucking incredible show. Incredible you show. So they, 19, they, 79, 80, something like they that. They did, in fact, rock you? They did rock me. Mm-hmm. They said they would. Then he took <laughs> outfit changes and smoke. Yeah. And that fucking Brian May and the guitar. I mean, just incredible that's show. Fuck, that's pretty classy yeah. right there. Yeah. Hmm. Ever gone ghost hunting? No. <laughs> have you or any member of your family ever claimed to have seen a UFO? Uh, No. I don't think so. Okay. Not that I can think of, no. Ever bought anything off a of TV? Um, I think I might have bought an album off a of late night commercial. Okay. Did you have uh, Columbia House? You ripped no, I them didn't off? Join, I didn't join that. Really? No, my sister did, but I didn't. Woo, that was a yeah. fucking gold mine. Yeah. Well, that was they were those. idiots. Yeah. yeah, they send you whatever you want, and they just never pay. Fucking stupid. You just don't have to. You have to not mind getting a lot of mail. Yeah, what are you, gonna do? you really should pay. You guys I'm, should. You should seriously. Hey, we're not pay. playing around anymore. This one's in red, <laughs> red ink. But you didn't have to pay. Uh, you ever read Auto Trader magazine? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. First car. 
first car was a Datsun B210, a really? 78 Datsun B210. Wow. Was it a hatchback? No, it was a sedan. It was the best car ever. I'm always looking on eBay for one. For a new they one, never yeah. have them. That was the but first. I, I, and I got a friend of mine's mom had one that died, so I bought it from her, and that was my parts car. That's the car I learned how to fix cars on. Damn, that's I would just take parts wild. off of hers and put Not them on my. Yours, yeah. yeah, we drove from uh, Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, to Texas in a hatchback Datsun. The best. Yeah, big. They had big Broke down like four muscle. times. Yeah. Well, they were like made to compete with like Mustangs. And yeah. Stuff, so they were actually pretty cool. Huh. Yes. First job. Do you prefer the studio album or a live album? Um, if you bought a record, are you a live album guy? I remember Aerosmith Bootleg was really a great oh, yeah. live album. Depends on the artist, I depends, feel like. Depends on the artist. Yeah. <laughs> Jose Feliciano, Feliciano got no got complaints. No complaints. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I think I like studio better. Good. I like the precision of studio music, yeah. That is the correct answer, my yeah. friend. All right. Is there anybody in your family, aunts, uncles, cousins, that you don't refer to them as their real name? Like an Aunt Cookie or Aunt an Cody. Uncle oh. Thumbs. Uncle JoJo. Well, all of my dad's brothers, <laughs> Uncle my Thumb. uncles on his side, they all have nicknames. You don't use Alberto is Bercy. Uh, Francisco is, is uh, uh, Pancho. And Gustavo is Goose. They all have, yeah, yeah. all have weird okay. names. Gabi. That's... Gabi Goose. Better see, yes. It's hard with another country because you're like, is that garbage or I not? Think that's yeah, probably no, that's that's cultural. Cultural. That's no. not garbage. Yeah, yeah. That's what's going cultural. on down there. Yeah. If your name's Gustav, it's like you're not poppy. trash. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about like an Uncle Nichols like, or something uh, like that. Yeah. No, I've only Auntie got Big one. Auntie Big Tits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, on my mother's side, we only have Jack. The uncle, yeah. Jack. Uncle and his Jack. name is John. Okay. So. Oh, that's trash. That's, like, <laughs> that's like the Kennedys. Yeah, it's Kennedys. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about now. Where do you keep the butter? You keep it on the counter or you keep it in the fridge? In the fridge. Really? Yeah. Your shoes off in the house? No, nah, people always do it, and I'm like, you don't have to. I don't have to. You don't have to do that, do you? Sure. What yeah. about the syrup? Where does that go? In the cabinet, or is it in the fridge? Um, I when I have it, it's in the fridge. Maple syrup. Yeah. Is it real maple syrup? Yeah, it's yeah, maple it's syrup. Not syrup's not be. Yeah. Growing up was margarine, sure. Miracle Whip, Ooh. Miracle. Really? And yes, no real. I didn't have butter till I was like 22. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is yeah. this shit? I was like, that was pussy. Butter, I was like, this is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's unbelievable. But no, margarine. Ooh. Yeah. Corn oil based I didn't, margarine. Yeah, it was the same until I went to college. And or mayonnaise, something. mayonnaise, I couldn't believe that shit. When I got <laughs> Blow rich, your hair rich, back. rich friends and I had mayonnaise. <laughs> rich but no, friends. yeah, because Miracle Whip is salad. It's like dressing. Miracle Whip oh. is fucking trash. Yes. yes. The correct answer is a nice fucking Hellman's. That's right. Or Duke's, maybe. Yes. Or Best is out, out west. Out west. They, yeah. It's the same label. They just changed the name. Now, yes. what are you doing, mayo wise? Mayo, it's, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, Are you an all top shelf brand kind of guy? Um, I know you're a West Side Market dude, right? Well, no, I mean, I like, uh, you know, organic food and stuff like that. Okay. Are you doing yeah. the food shopping? And my, hate, my kids hate it. They hate that I do that. They want, they the want ketchup. Dunkaroos, they want Heinz yeah, whatever, ketchup. Yeah. They want, you know. You're not buying Heinz? Well, Heinz now has organic uh, ketchup. It actually tastes more tomatoey. You know, I like it. This guy this with guy screwballs. Natural yeah, wines, right, organic right, ketchup. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. No, it's no good. It's no good. Do you do the food shopping or do you, you go order to the grocery in? store? I do. I I have for years. The last few years I've been on the road a lot and uh, there's new things like fresh direct. Of course, yeah. So you're doing yeah. that? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay. But no, I, I'll go. My And I have a housekeeper. She sometimes does it, honestly. It's been a while. but you know. Live-in housekeeper? No, fuck no, no, no. She comes every day? I don't care what she does. <laughs> <laughs> she cleans the house. I don't know. I've never seen her. I pay her. Uh, Do you sleep with your socks on? No. Hmm. Have you ever left a bad Yelp review? No. Okay. Oh, I have recently. Oh, tweet to Deech, you Joe. Did? I asked to speak to the manager a number of times. I'm an <laughs> really? asshole. That, I'm an asshole. That really? Way. What yeah. was, was the, the situation? And I usually end up apologizing. <laughs> That's usually what happens. <laughs> The last one was a hotel in Stockholm. It was the Grand Hotel Stockholm, which is like a famous hotel. Uh -huh. And I waited an hour and 15 minutes for room service. And I called and said, where's my food? And she said, it's coming. And I go, you have no credibility anymore. Yeah, you've, yeah exactly. You've already said this a number of times. So stop saying it. And she said, I don't make the food. And I'm like, all right, manage this. Manager. Wow. What was the order you were waiting on? Chicken I fingers. was. <laughs> well, I waited two <laughs> hours, <laughs> and that it ketchup better be organic. Sweden makes in Sweden they have this thing. It's a toast with uh, shrimp and avocado and eggs on it. It's Ooh. fucking good. 
Am I allowed to curse? I don't remember. Oh, oh yeah. what? What are you oh, doing? Right. Balls. Balls. Shit. Hey. Um, yes. Can you say pussy like 15 times? Yeah, I think so, yeah. That was me. That was me. <laughs> Who did you Yelp review? Um, uh, not Yelp review, but Google review. I, I have one for Domino's that has a lot of likes uh, in the story. They fucked me. A lot of likes. And um, This guy. A cab he reads, company. He goes, you go back to your Yelp reviews? <laughs> and a cab to company. For likes. No, I get updates. That I get is psychotic. Do real good emails. in the algorithm. I'm yeah. telling you, I get emails. And then there was a cab company you in Madison. You subtitle it or what do you do? It has a lot of, uh, it says it's, very, it's a very uh, well, what do you call it? Relevant comment or gotcha. something? Gotcha. People, people write to you to say, hey, we appreciate it. This is a cab company. <laughs> a cab company that didn't show up. You could probably find Somebody's it on Google. Somebody's emailing Yelp reviewers <laughs> yes. to say, hey, man, Thanks good for looking shitting out. You're like the you. Moses of dirt balls. I'm wow. telling you. Uh, wow. It's there for us. People have the power. Wow. Hmm. Let's talk about the shower. You peeing in the shower? Yeah, because it's good for your uh, foot. You know, if you have fungus on your foot and stuff, it's good for you. I think that's a lie you tell yourself. No, because <laughs> I, mean, like, I don't that's care. That's jellyfish. I'll, I'll shit in the shower. It's my shower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got to lie to nobody. You brush, you brush your teeth in there? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you sure. leave the toothbrush in there. Well, a lot of times in New York, a lot of times it takes a while for the water to come in warm. Mm -hmm. So I get in there, turn the water, and I brush my teeth while I'm waiting for the water to get warm. Standing outside of the stream of the water. Yeah. Huh. That's kind of psychopath. Yeah, stuff. that is. Really? Yeah. You're standing I, in the shower, not under the water, that's brushing right. your teeth naked. That's right. That's pretty weird. Well, I'm not going to wear my clothes in the shower <laughs> <laughs> when I'm waiting for the water to go. Get I pee in the shower 100% of the time because I end my showers with a cold whoosh. There you go. And then the cold whoosh too, makes the you piss. That feels yeah. great. Whoosh is good. Mm -hmm. Electric whoosh toothbrush, excellent. regular toothbrush. Regular. You floss it every day? I got these stick, these things They're great. like spears. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah, I don't care for the stick. When's the last time you were at the dentist? Uh, pre-pandemic. Okay, that's yeah. not bad. Yeah. 20, 20, 2018, something like that. Not bad. You? Uh, it's been a while. October of last year, so not that crazy. I haven't been since I was in my 20s. I know, but I had a bad... I didn't go for 10 years, and now? I had like six root canals. Six. I can't tell. <laughs> young, you look young. Oh, man, I'm never going to hear the end of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look young. Louis well, said I can play 22. Good. The hair is on point. Lush head of hair. hair. It just keeps getting better. Thank you. Yeah, yes. thank you. Thick. If you lose weight, you'll look old real fast. You think so? Yeah, you yes. trade fat for old. It's I feel like genetically, I should left. be attractive. I just try really hard not to. You are. You're, you're sexy to some yeah. people. Yeah. I think yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit yeah. of a fetish, but yeah, I never noticed the hair. I'm just. I can't take my eyes off. Oh, it. thanks, buddy. You never know. You know, I never noticed these. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the boudoir, how are you sleeping? How many pillows do you use to sleep? Uh, I need bedroom, bedroom. Oh. French. I think. Yeah, like lynch bag. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's right. I got uh, usually one, and I got a couple reserve. You know, king size bed for when it gets sweaty. King size, yeah. King size. So you just yeah. have one pillow under your head. Yeah, usually. If I sometimes I read in bed, and then I end up leaving the then I need a second one, and I need end up leaving that. One. But I've got three pillows usually, and one I'm, that I'm on. You read before you go to bed. <laughs> Yeah, or I in the do. Uh, I do this puzzle. I like uh, Wordle, Sudoku. No, you're not playing Candy Crush or anything, like that, are you, Louie? No, no, sir. Oh, thank God. It's a thing from the <laughs> London Times newspaper that's ah, called a uh, class hoity toity, yes. Louis C.K. Well, <laughs> I can't believe you're reading before you go it's to bed. Got, I read some and then, but I, that'll keep me up. I do code. It's called code words. It's this guy's a spy. I really like stock. I I like uh, uh, crosswords. Okay. And I do those all week, like in the Times, I do them. Can you the do Times. the Sunday Times crossword I can puzzle? do. I can do the whole week in the New York Times. Holy wow. shit. I like to, to get Saturday. the Daily News. Smart guy. <laughs> Saturday's actually like harder. Lupica. <laughs> Saturday, the, week, the weekends are harder. than Sunday's not hard. It's just a lot. It's a hey. volume thing. How yeah, many books would you thing. say you've read? In my life? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Over 10? Yes. Jesus. A yeah. He's a guy. He's a very I, smart, well-read. I mean, I'm, he's you know, a guy that well goes read. to the bookstore and buys seven books. And re I'll read one of those. Yeah. I mean, I do buy more than I read. Damn. My yeah. mother's never read a book cover to cover. Really? No yeah. And I've read maybe three. But I tell people I read a lot. I'll recommend Why? a book. I don't know. It's ADD. hard to do that. It's I mean, lot. you just told everybody that you don't, so <laughs> stop doing that. <laughs> but, it's a big uh, show. <laughs> yeah. No, I go through deserts of not reading, and then I will read a bunch. Okay. Yeah, you, I, I would yeah. I would peg like history, or is, I, or is it fiction? I like history. Yeah, it's, you're history a nonfiction books, kind of guy. I like history for uh, to listen to. I like I'll put on audiobooks mm -hmm. about history. I've started doing that in the car. I it's like the it. best. Yeah. But fiction, uh, but reading, reading fiction, a lot of fiction. Really? I just love uh, great story great fiction i don't read a lot of contemporary although um what's her name white teeth is the name of the book uh zadie smith is the currently writing uh -huh. she's a genius 
but I like old, like, you know, I read William Faulkner and, 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 uh, Baldwin and all these old guys. I like Alec? Those. <laughs> Alec Baldwin wrote some great stuff. Just wrote some great stuff. Stephen Baldwin's got a hell of a novel. Right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. Stephen Baldwin by Stephen yeah. Baldwin. Yeah. Are you a poetry guy? Uh, I can't do it. I'd love really? to hear it sometimes. Like in a, if I'm in, watching a movie and they quote poetry. Okay. I'm like, I should read poetry. But I can't. I somehow I can't. I, my mind wanders. I can't get into. I it. always feel like anytime there's an excerpt from a poem, you're like, "That's beautiful." And I bought yes. a Mary Oliver book, and I'm like, "This is trash." I can't even. I can't. Can't make sense of it. I, I feel it makes me feel bad because I feel like I should be appreciating it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just don't have that circuit. I like T.S. Eliot. E.E. E. Cummings is a good one. I know E.E. E. Cummings from the Woody the Allen track. movie, and I'm like, oh, I got to yeah. get that. But it's presented to you in context. You're like, I based on what I just watched or whatever, well, that's what I, I like. understand this to mean that. When you have to do it on your own, it's a little Yeah, it's, it's like, like, and that's different. why I read guys like Faulkner and also Baldwin, because they both have poetry in their prose. So like, there's like a thing, you, I can't believe how he said that. Mm-hmm. That's, but, I, but it means something to me because of the person and the story sure. who's saying it. Sure, sure. And uh, I always cry at four weddings and a funeral when the, he reads uh, the W.H. Auden poem at the when the one guy dies. Mm-hmm. Have we seen the film? Which one? I'm not that four weddings and a funeral. Four yeah, weddings. I, of <laughs> four weddings. Four weddings. Four weddings. Four weddings. Oh, four weddings. You know and I like his good Is that the Chris Rock? <laughs> <laughs> I really, I really like his good <laughs> No, it's no, Hugh Grant. He can't tell a lie. Yeah, or somebody something? died at a funeral. It's Hugh oh, Grant, yeah. right? Yeah, Hugh Grant. Yeah, Hugh Grant. That's right. I know about Hugh Grant. Are you cottage cheese man? Okay, and his pants. Yeah. Do you have any on you? <laughs> now and again. What was the last meal you cooked, and what was the last meal you had delivered? Uh, I made chicken parm for my Ooh, daughter and me. Not bad. Just a couple nights did you, ago. Did you ever taste this chicken parm? I, up. No, I was just telling him that I want to make it for him, because that's his favorite meal. I've it's been my favorite make, dish ever. I've been making th- something. We call it chicken bakey in my house, which is just you oh, get man. chicken breast, and you cut it really thin, and you dredge it and put um, uh, bread, like you know, breadcrumbs. Crumbs, yeah. And that's all, and with lemon and stuff. But it never occurred to me to put red sauce, sauce on it and, and some cheese, cheese yeah. on yeah. pasta. And Blow I made your that. Fucking and, tits off. And it's best. hard to please my kid with food, and she ate two big helpings of it. So I was very proud of that. Last meal we ordered out, it was at, uh, last night. What did we get? Uh, oh, it's Italian. I got uh, lasagna. I got a lasagna for two. My next and question. And I scarfed the whole fucking thing down. Wow. And I was. So sick lasagna delivered is a different level way too of much trash. lasagna. Yeah, my question yeah. was, when's the last time you had lasagna? That's why last night. Holy shit! Yeah. Have you ever eaten at the List household? At the List household? Yeah, yeah. I've had yeah. some Cheerios at his house. Cheerios? No, no, no. We've had some meals. Yeah. A few meals. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we were working on the thing. Yeah. You know, Sarah makes cheese in the bathtub. Just gonna let you know that. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Stay away. We didn't yeah. cook for you though. No, they didn't cook. We like ordered food. Yeah. We got Chinese once. Yes. You know how to use chopsticks? What's that? You know how to use chopsticks? Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty classy. Pretty classy. Um, Any dental hygienists or x-ray technicians in the family? None. Nice. (laughs) Anybody refer, (laughs) anybody in your family refer to jeans as dungarees? Oh. That's a good one. I think my aunt, uh, um, Sue, (laughs) who I love very much, but she's from Texas and she didn't, she married into the family. She's not blood relative. I haven't I mean, read I dungarees in a while. Let's be. You know. Where are you shopping? Like, where where'd you get that shirt? Oh, uh, it's J Crew online. Just J Crew. Not just, bad. Uh, your just, jeans. Just, where do you get your jeans? Uh, from? A place called uh, Alexander Goldschmidt. It's kind of a fancy place, but jeans I had a hard time with because really just, you got to find a yeah. Levi's can't do it. Really? Yeah, they, either it's the leg size or they the the crotch droops, and then I I'm like fighting them when I walk, or they're just they hurt, they chafe. I've got a weird body. So I walk one That's block true. in jeans and I'm in hell. So the jeans but you these been... jeans, this I mean, I looked for a long time and I found these this brand. So the jeans I would see and they weren't I always thought they were like Walmart kind of no, you no, said, no. You said that it. like you've been watching him from afar. <laughs> the jeans, jeans I've been seeing those? you in. Well I did. I Where worked get those jeans? <laughs> I worked at a restaurant in the West Village and all I would right. see you walking by all the time. And I worked were, and that's where you looked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Checking that ass out as yeah. you rolled by. Yeah. But you could always tell you. I was on uh, Bedford and Morton, where old Chopsons used to be. Yeah, sure. Snack Taverna. Yeah. And you always you dress down, but you could always tell you had a little bit of cash. Yeah, you I wore, wore the brown good, nice stuff. Good cotton. Yeah. Good cotton. Yeah. 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 You wear a nice brown jacket and used to wear those those blue glasses. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Real sharp. Oh, that's I right. Like those. Are you about to ask him out? It's yeah, a real, <laughs> real <laughs> fucking okay. creep level, well, he dude. Said, he said I'm like, comfortable <laughs> with it. Said I'm attracted. Attracted. You ever wear Stetson cologne? 
Yeah, what's no. a cologne situation? I had a French girlfriend. She's still my, my dearest friend, and uh, she gave me a bottle of cologne once. How did France. France? I'm right here. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, I thought you were from Austin. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it, it felt nice to wear it mm-hmm. for her, and I liked the way it smelled. I kind of liked it, but I don't wear it anymore. What deodorant do you use? None. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do I smell bad? Are you kidding me? Does he yeah. smell, Joe? Has there ever been an issue? That's no, I never noticed, but that's a lie. You, you wear don't deodorant. wear deodorant? I don't wear deodorant. No. What? 100% never wore it in my life. You're, you know, this, Mr. No CK way. comes in here and lies to my this face. This is a gag. No deodorant. <laughs> it's to be a gag. No deodorant. Damn. I don't know if that's classy or I'm a secret. Trash. Vic, uh, not Victoria's Secret. Regular secret uh, for the for the ladies. Louis Secret. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello, yeah. folks. Uh, I only got one or secret two more. Style. We got to wrap it up. Um, if you're going to a wedding, yeah. not Joe because he's a very close friend, but you're going to a wedding. Didn't come to my wedding. Really? Was he invited? Of course. Ouch. Yep. Oh. But on the road took something? me to Paul McCartney. I made up for it. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Fucking. <laughs> oh, God. And it was on record. Directed a movie that. <laughs> I was on record. <laughs> I made, made up for it. No, you didn't know that at the time. <laughs> you fucking ingrained You didn't know no that shit. at the time. <laughs> it wasn't like you were like, I can't come to the wedding, but five years from now, I'll direct a film. <laughs> He might that's have known right. that. He's a very smart guy. Got an 880. Uh, that's all right. What can you do? Next I wedding, you'll gone. be in. I don't remember why I didn't go. I should have gone. Yeah. I'm sure he remembers. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Will you do this? If you're at a restaurant, will you walk up to the hey, bar? What was the question? Oh, uh, <laughs> oh <sorry. laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. I, I forgot. Um, How do we go to a wedding? What are you giving? Not to, not somebody super close well, to I you. I don't want to hear this. <laughs> 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 it's not Paul I'll give you that. I don't want to uh, hear this answer. If you're going to a wedding, sorry, Joe, uh, you know. Say, what are you giving to as the gift? What's in the envelope? What are you dropping? Oh, jeez. Let's say you can't. We've also up. asked every famous person we've had in here, so and they uh, tell the truth. A thousand bucks. Good, Ooh. very yeah. good, very very good. Colin Quinn sent me five hundred dollars for my wedding, and then a year later I went to his wedding and sent him, gave him three hundred. Are you lefty from Mulberry <laughs> Street? <laughs> like, I made out. I wanted. I, I didn't want to lose my net. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the chicken and the fish. <laughs> Ever been to an air show? Yeah. Ever seen a crash at an air show? No. No, I saw the Blue Angels. Ooh. Yeah, got a sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Really bad. Really bad. How do you feel about banana pudding? Um, It's okay. It depends where you get it, but it could be okay. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Can I put a question to you guys? Please. Last night I was, I was at a diner, had soup, and then the last, I slurped it up. Is that bad? Is that garbage? Do you guys do that? I do that. Like yeah, I do that. Sure. It's trash. It's, yeah, it's but not, it's not trash the, if you're eating ramen. They say that's like- You uh, got to slurp. It's yeah, part, yeah, of the, yeah. part of the but thing. But at a restaurant, there's no other way to get what the- What diner? Right? Right? Not at a, re- a diner you have a Michael's pass. Michael's Restaurant. I mean, Mike's and Diner in Astoria? Not Mike's. Michael's Restaurant on Broadway and 34th. I used to live right there, yeah, yeah. actually. Uh, nice. Yeah, that's fine. That's not- okay. I, lick, I lick a plate. At a nice restaurant? <laughs> you lick a plate. No, Louis. I mean, you're not doing it at the Stockholm joint with the wine and the- He was no, drunk. He no. could have. Yeah, <laughs> he does no, in the bathroom, though. He plate. takes the plate to the bathroom. <laughs> <and> <laughs> He's a gentleman at the end of the day. <laughs> mm. uh, I'm out. I'm good. Any beekeepers in the family? No. Beekeeper? Hmm. Do you eat fast food at all? Not in a long time. I used to. A What's lot. a long time? Five, ten years? We ate it in Czech Republic, I think, or you did? one of those places. What, no, it's it nuts. Was yeah, that wasn't. Like, it's that good was over years there. It wasn't like a McDonald's or something, though, was it? No, we went to McDonald's. Oh yeah, in Prague. Yes, in Prague. Yeah, Beautiful so city. I bought about four years ago. Okay. Yeah. Ever been on a cruise? He goes. I no. bought. <laughs> eat the crust on your pizza. Yeah. You drink milk with dinner. No, not usually. Ever. Like no. as a kid? No. Oh, as a kid? Sure. Yeah. When I was a kid. When's the last time you had Always. meatloaf? <laughs> meatloaf. Uh, within the last two years, maybe. This guy's classy. Yeah. Um, I got one last one. Do you have those small disposable cups in your bathroom? Small disposable oh, cups. Oh, I remember those. Yeah, like you can like drink from and then throw out. No, nah, I keep a real oh, cup really? in there. Ooh. What was strange. your first silly purchase when you started making a lot of money back in the day? Oh, that's a good question. For a silly purchase. Like something stupid. Jet ski, something like that. Uh, Hot tub. I mean, I bought a <laughs> boat. I bought a fucking yacht. Like a, you know. I mean, it's a, it was a, like one of those that looks like a sneaker, but it was like a, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it wasn't. Sure. Like now the one from Comedians and Cars. Yeah, yeah. I bought that kind of fast. I bought that in cash. Like Jesus. I just bought it. I bought it with one show. That's the way I thought back then. 
What's I bought like a that Porsche. Right I still have. It's my one car. I just bought. I still have, have one the car, car. I bought. That's it. You just have a Porsche. Well, no, I have other. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I got, you know, a Land Rover and a Jeep. I there got, you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but the Porsche uh, is my primary car, and I still. Yeah, I bought that with my first show that I sold out. That was like a ton of money. It's great. I, I just went and bought a Porsche with that one show, and I bought a yacht with that one show. And you don't have the yacht anymore. Any toys no, the now? No, the one on Jerry, the one I talk about on Jerry, I told oh, you the story. you got stuck in Harlem. Yeah, that one is, uh, that's the one I bought, like, right right away. And then I, and then that one got lift, it, we, when the hurricane was coming, the big one was at- uh, Sandy. Uh, Sandy. Sandy. I had it, <laughs> I was smart, and I thought, and put it up in a parking lot. Stoke, but then yeah. that parking lot was flooded, and it ended up in some guy's front yard. So I bought another the boat I was on in comedians' cars. Mm-hmm. That was a real serious Grand Banks. Yeah, yeah, that thing wicked. was fucking sweet. That was a great boat, and but and that boat was uh, my vacation house for years. I didn't have like a. I would just take the kids. We would live on the boat all summer. That's awesome. And really, then, and that's how I discovered Shelter Island, where I have now. That's where I go for the summers. Nice Shelter yeah. Island's all yeah. right, classy near Greenport, right? Exactly, right yeah. across the water. Yeah. Big fan of Greenport. Greenport's the best. We love it. Shelter Island is between Sag Harbor and Greenport. It's like the two, one ferry goes south yeah. to the Hampton Sag Harbor, which is very fancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sushi and all that crap. We started going but up Greenport there a few years is ago. like Italian ice, you know? It's beautiful. Sure. It's just, and it's, but it's a working person's port Vacation. town. It's yeah, got yeah. real Jaws yeah. vibes down by the harbor. Oh, yeah. Yes, it does. And yeah. there's a restaurant there called the Shaky Oyster. That's fantastic. Very good oysters. Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Mm. I mean, it's pretty classy. Yeah, he's classy. Yeah. He's Louis. What are you going to say? I know. He walks in both worlds. <laughs> he's a classy guy. He's a classy guy. Mm-hmm. You have a favorite soda? Um, you don't drink soda. Hard to say Coke is, and nobody beats Coke. Yeah, that's Just a crazy But Orange question. Crush is pretty great. Ooh. Orange, Orange Crush. Crush. Mm. When I was a kid in that's Mexico City. That's like a vacation. City, you can't do that every day. In Mexico City, the, the, you go into a store, and there's a, this metal cooler and it's filled with ice water, and there's these sodas bobbing up in it, and they're all different colors. Mm-hmm. It's orange, Jaritos. grape, red. Yeah, yeah Jaritos, but a bunch of brands that you would, they're mm. just so good. Yeah, they do them nice. And Coca-Cola, there. when I was a kid, was a big, we drank Coke. My uncle still, like, if you go to my uncle's house um, for dinner, he just pours Coke around. It's not, you're not asking. You're just getting. Because ah, it's damn. safer than water, and it's, and it's just, True. and it's warm. There's no ice. He I just, know. He has a big pallet of Coke bottles, two liter Coke, but they're glass. Mm-hmm. They're really? Mexican Coke, giant, too, yeah. giant Mexican Coke bottles are big Coke bottles. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's classic. And he opens shit. it up, pours everybody Coke. I love Coca Cola. I don't. I can't drink it now. It's too much sugar, and I'm off caffeine now. Okay. But I love Coke. Hmm. It's a great yeah. drink. Coke Root beer is good too. A and W. Barks. What are you doing? Either one. Yeah. Mug. One Mug, all those are good. Mug Costanza. Mug Costanza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Louis C.K., Mr. Joe List. Check out the movie. Come Check see the movie. Out the movie. July Get 6th. Hit him again. Go, go, hit, go to AMC. Go to Fandango. You can find it near you. Yeah, yeah. Fandango. Just that one night. Don't think you can. Oh, go see I'll it. I'll go on the 7th, 8th, and July 6th. 6th. Yeah, Get your tickets. Go check it out. The trailer looks fucking amazing. Thank you. Thank Wish you guys the best of luck with Louie. Thank you so much Thank for coming. You. Thanks for coming, Joe. Guys. We absolutely love you. Thanks for having Congratulations, me. Congratulations, star of a fucking new movie. Appreciate bro. it. And you look oh, fucking fantastic. Exciting. He did a great it job. Yes. It looks. It, I can't wait to watch it. For yeah, yeah. Super actor. Actor. He's like Gregory Peck. This kid. Uh, yeah. I mean, for real. Like he reminds me a little bit of Gregory Peck. The actor. Look at that. Yeah. Peck baby, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch a Peck movie, and then Friday, sh- by the Friday Schubert in Boston, Saturday uh, Vic. Yes. Yeah, and you, the, the fact that you guys are gonna be there, it's you know, so doing fucking cool. Uh, uh, we will be there. Whatever, and talk Ron after. We'll introduce it and we'll chat after. Ron Bennington is gonna interview us about the movie. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah, great. Congratulations. Place to be. We appreciate you guys so <laughs> much. Thanks, guys. Thanks Thank for having you. us, gang. We will see you next week. Peace. Peace.